Hey guys, it's Steve and hope you guys are having a great weekend and it's a weekend boss through kind of thing, Legends of the Star Lord 5. Yeah, I have really enjoyed the book and I'm gonna share it with you, the reviews. Hope you guys are enjoying and let's go towards the review. What? If you ask me what I really like the most of the thing in this issue, it's one and only the artwork. This is the best part of this issue. I really like the drawings, I really like the character illustrations and the expression. Yeah, but let's go towards the review what the whole cloud and internet, whole world is saying. The experts, Peter Quill has had his showdown with Thanos and even though it didn't end the way he originally hoped, it's behind him for now. Does that mean he gets to take a break, maybe finally catch up with Kitty Pride? and person. Oh, no, because there's still the small matter of the bond that Mr. Knife has put on his head. And even though we don't know how much about the interstellar crime lord, we do know that he is bad news and he's after any cosmic artifacts that can make him even more powerful. Legendary Star Lord issue 5 gets into Quill's attempts to learn more about Mr. Knife and the capabilities of his slaughter squad, a team of alien hitmen. Our various races, long-time Marvel fans will recognize this Snurk, a Centurion, a Shire, a Badoon and the mysterious Father Diablo from Planet X, which is where Skrull mutants hang out, also a regular Skrull. We learn about them mostly from Peter's conversation with one of the chameleons who tried to prevent the Slaughter Squad from obtaining something for Mr. Knife, the Black Vortex, an object that's about to become much more significant when it leads to an all-out Guardians of the Galaxy X-Men crossover. And speaking of the Guardians, why Star-Lord has gone it alone in this series thus far, he does get some timely assistance from one of his teammates this time out, Sam Humphreys finds a nice balance between action and comedy as he has for most of the series to date and he gives Pace Medina plenty of large panels that really suit his style. The western touches in space continue to entertain Father Diablo is even wearing a cowboy hat and it's almost like this is a cowboy bebop with superheroes instead of bounty hunters. That's a compli compliment in case there was any doubt. Read on by be wary of the things. So Star Lord unleashed all these basic boosters out in space are about to get a taste of their own medicine. Peter Cool style Mr. Knife steps from the shadows. This guy is a drag city. So this kind of things. Here is the Black Vortex. When we get to know about this Black Vortex, this story gets inter interesting and really really camera kind of things. The panels are really well drawn. The layouts is cool. So here is the thing when one of them is care to stop him but one of them is don't care to go into something so here the black vortex magic and the things happen boom yeah spoilers pause this point star lord does his information gathering the fun way which is to say he buys a kindly named lucian some drinks while the host like alien tells of his encounter with the slaughter squad peter as he is on to do Continually puts down the bad guys in suiting that they aren't as tough as they sound. After a brief interruption from the kitty, who's upset about Peter standing her up on a hollow date, Star Lord learns that Father Diablo is pretty powerful and that the Slaughter Squad did in fact stumble upon the Black Vortex, kind of like the Ark in the Riders of the Lost Ark. It's apparently not a good idea to look dry directly at it, okay? So, us uh, in a plot twist you will probably see coming. Lucian is actually the scroll member of the Slaughter Squad. Star Lord knows that too. So here is the thing. We really like the kind of uh, last kind of action things. That's pretty much cool. Thankfully Quill's dating powers has given him all the background info on different alien races. He will ever need. Favorite moment? It's a series of moments. Really here are the things. Star Lord calls Lucian during their talks. Sea Biscuit, Pony Boy, Better Refilly, Funny. That's the thing. So final thought, less happen in this issue than 
any of the previous four but it's still a fun read and a nice change of pace from the Angus Field Slugfast with Thanos in issue 4 plus the series pivoted nicely from one focus to another and Humphreys has been bringing the kitty subplot along nicely too. So thanks for watching, hit the like button, yes, if you like it and enjoyed it and if you want to buy it, just go to the store and buy it because it's an amazing story and it's amazing artwork and illustrations. So thanks you, adios.